English task, Cardiff 1 and 2. Hello Year 3, today we're going to share a story about a fox. Fox. In the woods, amongst the leaves, but the little fox fly as could be. He lived with his family and each knew their role, until something happened that he couldn't control. A big thing happened that made everything change, and things as he knew them would not be the same. His parents and sister started acting quite different. He couldn't believe change could feel so instant. Before the big change, he knew what to do. But now life was different and he had no clue. His feelings felt like a big jumbled mess. He felt angry, confused and tight in his chest. He started to fidget and yelp out in class. He stopped listening to his teacher and hid in the grass. This wasn't the fox that everyone knew. Now his teacher and friends were feeling confused. There were too many mixed up feelings inside. The big change had changed things and he wanted to cry. Sometimes change happens and we have no control when things are so different with family or school. When things happen that are out of your control, talk to the ones that make you feel whole. If you can't find the words, draw what you're thinking. It can help those around you know what you're feeling. One thing you know is that families, they change. Nothing, not even family, stays exactly the same. But what makes family special and keeps them together is the strong love that binds forever. If you feel that love, and I know that you do, name a person you know loves you. When big change happens, and you can bet that it will, comfort yourself with these words that can heal. Repeat after me these things that are true. Let's make little fox feel better. And maybe you too. I am safe. I am loved. I can get through this part. It's not my fault that things have changed. And I can keep an open heart. The end. At the moment, we're all going through lots of changes and it might make us feel a little like Fox. If you were feeling upset and unsettled like Fox, what could you do to make yourself feel better? You might talk to someone who makes you happy, just like Fox did. You could do something calming, read, listen to music or meditate. Do something that's good for your health. Eat healthy foods, drink water and get active by doing something you enjoy. 
could be playing out in the garden, could be doing a bit of sport. Do something creative, draw something, paint, whatever you like, make something beautiful. Do something you love, bake, go outside, sing, whatever you like. We've just had a look at some of the things that you could do to make you feel better. Your task now is to write a letter to Fox to help him feel better. You must include an introduction to tell him why you are writing. Three paragraphs which give him some strategies to use. It could be what we've just discussed or something else that you think would help. If you do something different when you're a little bit sad, tell him what you'd do, what would make you feel better. And finally, a little conclusion with a nice message for Fox. Let him know that somebody cares and that you want him to feel better. Don't forget to say who's writing at the end. We need to know who the letter's from. Now, here's a little example of my introduction. Dear Fox, I'm writing to you because I know that you're worried about things and I want to help you to feel better. If I'm feeling worried, there's lots of things I do to cheer myself up. So I want to share them with you. That's my introduction. Then I choose three things I want to write about. I'd write a paragraph to each one. So if I want to say do something you love, I then might give a few examples of baking or whatever it made me happy. And then I'd do two more options. You could the ones we talked about earlier, but you could also think of your own. I hope you have a go and enjoy this task. Make sure you share any work you do with me. I look forward to seeing any examples you come up with. Thanks. Bye.